Untitled, But It Follows Winter, W. Shakespeare. There is definitely an appreciation for the fleeting days of fall. In fact, fall seems to be the speaker, analogous to the waning days of life. Fall is waning into early winter, the birds have left, and even the branches seem to be shaking, the few leaves barely hanging on. It is the twilight of the days and of the weather. The last season, winter is coming. Like death, it engulfs it all. Because we can see the dark and cold coming, it helps appreciation of the last days of autumn. Winter follows the fall and bounty of fall as death follows the seasons of life. Each season is a renewal and death of sorts. Winter, however, seems to encompass them all as death is the final chapter of life. That time of year thou mayst in me behold, when yellow leaves, or none, or few do hang, upon those boughs which shake against the cold, bare ruined choirs, where late the sweet birds sang. In me thou seest the twilight of such day, as after sunset fadeth in the west, which by and by black night doth take away, death's second self that seals up all the rest. In me thou seest the glowing of such fire, that on the ashes of his youth doth lie, as the deathbed whereon it must expire, consumed with that which it was nourished by. This thou perceivest, which makes thy love more strong, to love that well which thou must leave ere long.